Goodbye. Uh, next movie is Upgrade. So, Upgrade is an amazing movie. Very well done with a small budget. It is classified as a sci-fi horror movie, and I'm going to read you the official summary because totally different than the last movie. I recommend seeing this one 100%. Set in the near future, technology controls nearly all aspects of life, but when Gray, a self-identified technophobe, has his world turned upside down, his only hope for revenge is an experimental computer chip implant called STEM. So if you've seen the trailers, it's a um, simple revenge plot. Nothing overly complicated. Um, Man gets injured and loses his ability to walk, and he is offered a chip even more futuristic than than the tech that's already in the world and it enables him to talk and or not talk it enables him to walk and move all of his abilities actually paralyzed from the from the neck down I'm sorry not not just walking and he's a technophobe so he's like your everyday average man relatable to society now but it's his only chance to move again so he's stuck in a chair and you see all the struggles of him dealing with that so you want him to um be able to move and walk and everything when he gets the chip implanted, and this is all from the trailers too, I'm not spoiling anything yet. Uh, when he gets the chip implanted, he realizes that it's called STEM. It has the ability to talk to him, and he can have conversations with it, and he has to basically give the chip permission to take over his body. So, like, there's a scene in the trailer where he's fighting a guy, and he doesn't, like, he's not strong enough to fight back, and the guy's clearly overpowering him, and STEM says, I need your permission to take control. And he's like, permission granted. And all of a sudden, he does all these awesome kung fu moves and just starts kicking this guy's ass. And the acting from this main character, um, he's not known for many movies. I think he was in, like, Taylor said he was in, like, The O.C. or something. She recognized him for some random thing. But he's been in little to no movies that I've even recognized. He looks like a... um, He looks like a discount Tom Hardy, kind of. (laughs) I was watching the Venom trailer, then I went and saw this, and I was like, this looks a lot like discount Venom. like. The, the whole premise of it. But it came out before Venom, and it's it's really good. I'd recommend going to see it. It's directed by Blumhouse, um, who makes some really good horror movies and some really bad horror movies. They classify it as a sci-fi horror action, which is kind of weird. Um, and the main director also directed Saw. So you see some elements of gore and um, some things that you really wouldn't normally just see in a pure action movie. So that's like the horror elements. But it's not really... They try to play with the whole, like, you have something controlling your body that's not you horror, but it's it's not really a horror. It's 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 an action movie. So, it's good, though. So, I would, rec- I would rate this 8 out of 10. The action is really well done. The acting is really, really well. Um, you know what? No, I'm sorry. Not an 8 out of 10. I'm going to go with 7. It's it's almost an 8, but it's, it's probably a 7 because... They they leave a lot to be desired. the The world itself is very well done, and like every, again, small budget, Blumhouse. So not not a lot to, to work with as far as like what they can do with the technology and the money and everything. They they make you they just you leave the theater and you want more. You want more of a story. You want you want something more than just he's being controlled. It, it all the whole movie just sits on this guy's back as far as this actor, and he does a really good job with the stuff that he can control, but. Um, everything other than that, like there's a, there's a lot of really good action, but most of the really good action is in the trailer. So if you watch the trailer, you've seen 80% of the movie, the good parts of the movie, the fight scenes, there's maybe four to five action scenes. And a lot of it is like some of the action scenes, some of the big fight scenes are like 10 seconds long and you, you just leave the theater and you're just like, man, I really wanted more of that. It's, it's, it's supposed to be like an action movie the way it's, it's, uh, marketed and it's really it doesn't turn into that it turns into like a this guy fighting with stem um trying to figure out what he can do and what it can do and you know where that line is blurred at so recommend going to see it in theaters again because i think it'd be cool to have a sequel if they were able to continue the story um or just to give blumhouse more incentive to make these types of movies the world was really interesting they didn't expand on it enough the acting was the guy, the guy's acting was ten out of ten. I want to see him in more stuff. It's just the rest of the movie around him just kind of fell apart. Um, yeah, that's all I got. Seven out of ten. 
recommend going to see it if you can. And spoilers. Uh, there's not a whole lot of spoilers other than the fact that it is the typical, um, it's the typical, the AI turns bad and all of a sudden it's controlling him to do things that he didn't originally want to do and he didn't, he didn't give permission to do. The weird thing is, is that, um, the biggest twist is that STEM was in charge of the whole thing, which when you really think about the movie and like go back and if you rewatch the movie again, you would be like, okay, if STEM was in charge of everything happening well why like th- that doesn't make any sense with the whole movie like there's things like he's fighting basically himself he's fi- stems fighting people that he hired and there's this main character that like the main like boss of all the bad guys that stem fights is stronger than stem and you're going like okay why why would stem hire someone that he can't beat or defeat it's just, it, the more you think about it, it makes less and less and less sense. The writing is weird. The pacing of the movie is really weird. Uh, the first two thirds are just action packed and awesome. And the last act is extremely slow and boring. Um, which is why I, I, I changed it to a seven out of 10 because it, it should be. Um, so go see it for the guys acting. It's really good in the fights. The main fight scene that I was talking about where he's learning what STEM can do the way he's moving and reacting. It looks like his body is actually being taken control by some other technology which is crazy. I don't even know how you convey that. Um, but it's, it's, it's insane. He's reacting to what he's doing with his hands and acting freaked out while he's like breaking a bottle over someone's face or bashing his face into a wall. And the guy's like, Oh my God. And he's just like doing all these awesome moves. So, and and it all looks robotic. It doesn't look like human at all. So, and then all of a sudden you see when his body, when STEM lets him have control back. And you see the change in his mannerisms and the way he talks and everything in his body and everything. So it's just, it's insane. So that the acting itself was amazing. The world was really cool. There's a lot of cool, like, um, futuristic looking buildings with waterfalls and plants and all this really cool stuff on top of it. Uh, almost like a Blade Runner, but not quite, not quite like that futuristic, a little bit pulled back from that. So not as future as Blade Runner, but that's pretty much it. Like I said, seven out of 10, go see it.